All right, so pro tip first. Before you buy this thing, you go to this chat thing and you say, hello, hello, I want to chat with you. And you enter all your stuff there and you just say, I know Tiger King and his Prince Albert, can I get a discount? No, you should be able to get at least 10% off. That's the first thing you've got to do. Don't forget. Wolf. Oh yes, what has just gone and happened and wolf. Yes, the XPS 17 is available to order and this is your ultimate buyer's guide to the XPS 17. All the pitfalls, all the mistakes, my recommended configuration, let's go through it. Now, if you actually want to get to this, you have to go to home. So when you go to laptops on the Dell's website, you have to go for work. Actually, not home. Home will not be there at the moment. I expect any minute now it will be up. So check home first and then check work. But anyway, at the moment, it's only available in the work section. So let's have a look at these XPS 17s and what one should you get? So I've got to say, I'm waiting for it to come out in Australia. I felt a little bit of the movement at the station. The floppy is ready to go. I can't wait until it's available in Australia. So I guess if you're watching this video, you probably want some advice on which one you should get. Well, have a look here on the left here. This one here, the 1449. This one does not have a graphics card, okay? No graphics card has an i5, so it's only a six core. No, four core, sorry. Four core. 8 gigabytes of RAM, and yeah, no graphics card. So if you just want a big 17-inch screen, maybe that's the way to go. Next one up, we have 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gig SSD, but you have the i7 6 core, and you get the 1650 Ti. Now, there are two graphics options, as you can see here. Well, actually, three. You have Intel HD, the one with no graphics, just using the Intel HD graphics, and you have the 1650 Ti, the same GPU that goes in the XPS 15. So if you're happy with the XPS 15 performance, I've got loads of videos on that. Go check it out. If you're happy with that, you can go a 1650 Ti. But for me, I'm definitely going to go to 2060, not because it's got so much more power or whatever, but really, it's just for that six gigabytes of video memory. I'm using 6K footage now. The general rule of thumb is how much K your footage is, is how much video memory you need. So if you're doing 4K, four gigabytes is enough. You want to do 6K, you want six gigabytes, 8K, around eight gigabytes. Yeah, it's sort of like a rule of thumb there. But I've got to say, that one here with the eight gigabytes and the six core i7, you can always upgrade the RAM later on. You can always upgrade the SSD later on. This is good value. 1849, you get six cores, you get a 1650 Ti. It's a good machine. Now you do get the full HD plus, which is 1920 by 1200. Now you might think that's not enough resolution, but actually this is gonna give you much better battery life to have the full HD plus. And the thing about full HD plus is you can have it at 100% scaling. Generally with the 4K, the Ultra HD, so the one here, 4K Ultra HD, you're gonna to have to have that at 200% scaling. So effectively, it sort of looks the same on screen once you have, you know, 4K plus at 200% scaling versus Full HD plus at 100% scaling, it more or less sort of looks the same. Of course, you can't watch 4K content on the Full HD. And if you wanted to make the icon smaller and have more real estate, well, you can't go any less than 100%, can you? So yeah, the 4K, if you need that resolution, that is the way to go. And what's good about this 1849 is, if you don't need more than six cores, and generally these days, you don't really need more than six cores, because a lot of stuff's hardware encoding. If you need the cores, you probably know you need them. I will always get the eight core, because some things I need it, like, you know, After Effects and stuff like that. Cores can be handy. But this 1849 one, you can just go in there, customize, if I'm not mistaken, and you can just add the 4K display. Woof, there you go. 4K display, 2,249. Now you can't upgrade the processor because they'll do a trick. What they do is, if you want the good processor, and by this I mean the i7 10875H, God, all these numbers, I'll get them mixed up. But that one is eight cores, and I guarantee you, you're going to have to buy a bigger SSD. You're probably going to have to get the 4K display or the better graphics card. That's just the way they do it. They try and extract the money out of you. That's how it works. But anyway, this is a good one here. 2,249, that's good. Eight gigabytes, upgrade it yourself. 
SSD, upgrade it yourself. That's a good machine. I wish I could just upgrade the CPU and I'm done. I'll buy it, I'm out of there. Now the next one up, the 2349, it's great. It's got every spec I want. It's actually nearly the perfect configuration with 16 gigs, 512 SSD. It has a six core CPU and it has the RTX 2060, as you can see here. So it's like perfect and also you get both display options you can change it to ultra hd if you want or have the full hd it's up to you another thing to notice about the full hd plus versus ultra hd plus is the full hd plus is anti-glare and it's not touch whereas the ultra hd plus is gloss and it is touch that's one thing to know so this one here has a cpu i want the next one up 3049 now we're getting into whoa you know the expensive side right but I want the eight cores, so that's a tick in the box. The GPU I want, tick. It has the Ultra HD Plus, tick. That's it. That's mine. That one is mine. It's got everything I want. If I was buying, this is the one I'd buy, and it is super expensive, isn't it? Can you cuss? What can you take anything off? Uh, you can add RAM, add SSD, and that's about it. Yeah, you can't take anything off. Like, you know, if I could take RAM off and SSD off, then I could just upgrade it myself. But we'll quickly look at the other configurations and see what we have. All right, look at that 64 gigs. If we just have a look at Apple here, all right, let's have a look at Apple's prices. 32 gigs, the best graphics card, one terabyte storage, eight cores, right? We're looking at 3,299. We we're looking at 3,049 on the XPS here, the XPS 17. Now in Australia, it's going to be the opposite way around. The actual XPS will cost more than the Mac, which is a big problem in Australia. It can't cost more than the Mac. That's just nuts. But this one here, yeah, solid choice. 32 gigs, one terabyte SSD. You get the eight core 10875H, and that's the big mistake you don't want to make. If you need the eight cores, you don't want to get the 10750H. There's two i7s, remember. One's eight cores, there you go. 10875H, that's eight cores. Here, 10750H. That's six cores. Make sure you get the right one, all right? So let's see the big one, the beefy one. This one has eight cores, 64 gigs, two terabyte SSD, and we're looking at 3649. Okay, what do we get here? 3649, 64 gigs. Go to two terabytes, 4099. So again, cheaper for you guys in the US. Ain't going to be like that in Australia. And if you're an Aussie bloke, let's have a look at XE. So you're looking at 62. 6.2 in Australia. Wow. 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 <laughs> oh, my solid state has gone to a floppy now. It's gone to a full on floppy. Anyway, I didn't expect to put a video up today. Actually, you guys were the ones that actually told me it was up. Thank you very much for people that commented. I actually checked a few times today and it wasn't up. So, yeah, can't wait to get it in myself. Australia, let's check one more time. Let's refresh. Right, let's go to work, products laptop for work and yeah super fast website there and what do we got only yeah 15s no 17s yet i expect that will be up tomorrow i wish i could get this 15 percent off 